we go, all nice, clean and tidy, organised. And this video I'm supposed to be about creating a good work-life balance during a busy week. I think the balance side is very lopsided at the moment. It's not gone so well today. Good morning, welcome back to a new vlog. It's going to be a very busy week this week. I've got so much going on. It's my busiest time of the month with work and I want to try and create a little bit of balance because I've been working 6am till after 10 every single day lately and the balance hasn't been very good. So I want to try and work on that. I want to get my week off to a great start. It's a Monday, I've got a food shop coming anytime, so we will unpack that together, go through that. I've got a really good meal planned for the week because I want to try and stay healthy during my busy time. And I'm just gonna see if I can really work on creating that balance this week. And I'm hoping by filming it, it encourages me to maybe take a little bit of downtime, get out for some walks and break up my busy work days. Let me know if that's so something that you struggle with as well, that work-life balance, and how do you squeeze in your downtime when you're really, really busy. Just before I started filming, I did actually start cleaning out the fridge. So I'm going to carry on doing that. And I also want to clear the draining board. Aid washed up this morning um, from making coffee. And breakfast and things. I've baked a loaf this morning but I want to continue with the fridge. I've had these baskets in the cupboard. My sister bought them me as hot dog baskets. They're from Paper Chase and they are so cute. I've used a couple of them in my larder and I just bought them out because I thought they would be quite nice in the fridge. I find that having things in the plastic containers just doesn't encourage me to eat things but when I have things in nice pots for some reason, I eat things more. So I've still got the cloth in here. That's <laughs> just before I was going to um, start my film. So I'm just going to start by cleaning everything out. I've already got the apples in a basket. I need to eat up that melon. Something else I found actually, that by chopping up the melon and preparing it, I eat it. I really don't want to waste that last bit. I'd um, chopped up the rest of it, but it wouldn't actually fit in the container. So I do want to do that one. So that shelf is done. I also think it's important to go through a fridge before you get your shopping so you know what you've got. I've got some leftover uh, white chili chicken stew there and some beans. That might be lunch today, I think. Try and use that up. I'm just gonna get finished giving it a good clean before the shopping comes. I haven't got too much waste. <laughs> I don't know why that was put back in the fridge. Parsley needs to go in the bin. I've got a tiny little bit of spinach, which has gone very nasty down there. And this was in the bottom of my veggie box. So this is all gonna go in the green bin, actually. I'll go and put that in the green bin. And then I've got a couple of containers here as well. But apart from that, that's all I've got to bin. Another reason I think it's really important to go through the fridge and have a sort out, even when you're really busy and it feels like you're wasting time, I've just found a bag of rocket salad that I didn't realise I had. I've got two more on my order coming this morning, so I know that I need to eat quite a lot of salad. So that will also be lunches this week. So I know that when I'm really busy with work, I know what food I've got in my fridge to come and quickly make a healthy lunch because I'm really bad at when I'm really hungry, just going and making toast. Whereas I know that if I've got loads of salad that needs eating, I can come and put together a really quick salad. There we go, all nice, clean and tidy, organized, and I know exactly what I've got and what needs using up this week. So I'll run through this week's menu with you, bearing in mind, one, I've got a super busy week, so it needs to be easy. Two, we're really trying to eat healthier. I cook from scratch already anyway. Um, so I'd say that our meals are already healthy, but I'm trying to take them to that next level of healthy. And we're also trying to lose weight to go to Florida. We're getting really, really close now, and we're still way off what we would ideally like to be. And budget comes into it as well. I always, always shop to a budget. I like to try and do about 40 pounds to every 10 days. I have been asked about that. Um, this doesn't include things like laundry detergent, um, most cleaning products, I buy bleach and bathroom spray from Morrison's when I order, but a lot of other things 
um, washing detergent, like I said. We do actually buy from Waitrose as we do get 20% off there um, with our daughter. Our dog food we buy from there. There's certain things that work out a lot cheaper for us, so we do pick those up at Waitrose. Um, but the day-to-day, -day, everyday food we do buy from Morrison's and I like to try and do 40 pounds. We also nip out and get bread and milk as well because obviously they're not going to continue over the 10 days. So this week I have gone slightly over. I think it's come out at 53, but we've got Louis coming home from uni soon. So I've stocked up on a few things ready for him. And my Pepsi was on offer. It was seven pounds 50 for 24 cans. So I bought Pepsi for both of us. So I'm gonna show you the menu. We have got tonight salmon, quinoa and roasted veggies. I have got chicken, pitters and salad tomorrow. Frittata and roasted veg on Wednesday. Tuna nassoise salad on Thursday. Chicken pesto pasta salad, that's a bit of a mouthful. That one's a bit more of a treat. It's got sun-dried tomatoes in, it's got pine nuts, it's amazing. You may remember I did that recipe a few a few weeks ago now when I took it over to my family. It was so delicious. So I want to recreate that again. And it's got parmesan in, so it's not the best in calories, but it's a healthy one and it's very, very yummy. And you need nice things sometimes. Santa Fe salad on Saturday, that again, is not a low calorie one, but it's so delicious. It's crunchy, it's got peanut butter in it. It's got all the healthy things in, but it's just a bit higher in calories. And I'm doing tandoori chicken on Sunday. And that's the menu for the week. All really, really easy things, very tasty things. And it's all fitting in with this week's budget, kind of. Yay, the shopping's here. I always get really excited. I think it's because I love cooking. <laughs> and food so much right let's do the fresh stuff first so like i said this came to i think 53 we've also got 24 cans of pepsi max for me and aid has eight of his caffeine free ones we've got salad tomatoes cherry tomatoes i did think about going to lidl over the weekend but i ran out of time two limes there's a lemon there i buy as much of the wonky veg as possible from morrison's because it does work out a lot cheaper i, love those peppers. I like those peppers too yeah. um cauliflower grapes i prefer the snack size bananas because they're half the calories <laughs> and i can never eat a whole one you know when they're really big they just fill me up too much um spring onions onions lemon cucumber cabbage we want to try and make sauerkraut that's on our list this week wonky sweet potatoes broccoli um two more bags i've already got a bag of this in the fridge so we need to use this up and baby spinach i just throw handfuls into meals we've got kale this week um i've just been reading up how um it's so important to have a lot of greens especially for women in their diet so i'm, I'm trying to increase more greens mushrooms wonky potatoes and there's sweet corn down there as well i think i've covered all the fresh stuff um the limes we use for salad dressing i don't know what is What's that this bananas? oh it's just come off the oh i think it's just come off something else yeah there's the limes we use as salad dressing meat stuff i've got five breasts um i wrap them up individually and when i make anything we have one between us and then we've got salmon that's for dinner tonight we've got a loaf of bread with like the seeded this is something i'm going to put in the freezer ready for when louis comes home we've got frittata this week this was on offer for 99p so again that's going to go in the cupboard ready for louis i'm going to try and switch to brown rice i don't like it as much but i know it's a lot healthier so we're going to try and see if we can eat that we both love quinoa it is however quite pricey two pounds just for that but um, we're having quinoa tonight as well. Feta cheese, lightest Philadelphia. Fahey, you'll get both of these on offer at the moment. Another thing for the cupboard for when Louis comes home and something else for when Louis comes home. I think home. it came to about 53 in the end. Bear in mind, I think 11 of that was... Pepsi. Pepsi. So you think about it, 42 pounds. Oh, sorry, I covered you then. That's and right. as much as... I want to eat as clean as possible. I'm not going to deny myself my one Pepsi a day because I absolutely <laughs> love that drink. And we all need treats, don't we? I think it's important. And I know I still need to do the chicken, but I'll do that later. We have one very 
organized fridge. I do like having the little trays. And the other thing I do is open everything out as well, because again, I can be lazy and just not bother to open things. So that way I find it gets eaten. This is a good loaf today. Sometimes they can be a bit hit and miss. I don't always make amazing ones. I'm gonna have a treat and sit down at my desk. That bread is very, very nice, right? I've got desk jobs to do. I have got my treat. Always important to have a treat. And I am going to prioritize. I've got my list here, my very important list. And I am going to do the job which I have to do today and that's get my team kits out. So I'm going to print off the address labels and the team the kits are actually already packed because I've been kit packing yesterday already. So I'm going to grab those. So that should be a really quick job to do. And then another thing I love doing when I'm sat at my desk doing something that's quite boring, I watch a YouTube video, something that I don't really have to focus on. I'm going to watch a tiny bedroom makeover. I really love this girl, her channel is really fun if you like all the home type things and it's easy to have on in the background team kits are done and now it's time to take some photos of some stock that i've got i think i might turn it around the other way actually and um, i can upload it to the website then i'm just now photographing all the bits and pieces from the kit just so i can add the add-ons into the online shop and now I'm just going to sit and edit them on my phone. I use Facetune 2 there um, for my editing. I've used the free option for years and years and years. And I just this weekend decided to pay and have the, um, like the, I don't know what you call it, like the one with no limitations. Um, it's £32.99 for the year, but they, the only reason I've, started, I've decided to go for that one is because I can now edit videos on that one. It's a new feature of theirs and I'm already using it on Reels and I think it will be really handy. So um, I'm just editing these. I think it always looks... I use my phone a lot for work, lots of editing and things like that. And I know like I've had like my father-in-law just come past the window before and I've got a deadline and I've got like a video going up and I've advertised that there'll be things going on sale and I have to get these things done and he's there talking to me through the window and I'm there on my phone and it probably looks like I'm being so rude and even when you say I'm working and he continues talking, I don't think people always get it that you do actually use your phone for work a lot. Anybody else find that? But um, I really like this app, like I've got a little mark here on my desk, actually let's take it back to how it was. You can just see there's a mark there on my desk where um, it needs wiping. And there's a whitening button and to do it you just wipe out what you want to take out. So let's um, uh, clean up that mark on my desk and I don't know how it does it. I really don't. I'm just going around just to make sure it all looks really white. I'm going to give that one more go and it will look amazing. I'd love to know about the apps you use on your phone. Do you edit photos? That's so much better. Yeah. And that's how I edit photos for my website. Something I do have to do is set myself alarms because I forget things. So um, I've always got alarms going on just to keep me on track with time. It's now time to take Poppy to be groomed. And also drop off the post at the post office. Poppy, you're gonna go and have a haircut, a little wash. Would you like that, Pops? I'm gonna go and have a little clean, make you feel nice, ready for the summer. I think that's a nice idea. Poppy's been dropped off, the post has been dropped off. If I can multitask, I always will. So that's two jobs done. I'm gonna come back. We have got um, 40 minutes, 45 minutes before we need to go and pop pops, pick pops up. And I'm gonna try and get these add-ons listed now. The photos seem to have taken ages to upload, but they've done whilst we're away. So I'm gonna get the next job done. And lunch today was banana. Poppy is home and smelling lovely. Oh, you're having some cuddles. Are you, bless you? You feel so nice, Pops. And you smell nice. Is that nice? Are you rubbing? You want your scent back on again, do you? <laughs> what are you doing? You mad doggy. You are funny. 
and I'm going to eat last night's leftovers. I have got white cabbage and red cabbage with lime juice and salt and some minted new potatoes. And although it's not a lunch break as such, something I like doing when I have my lunch is editing our Disney videos, even if it's just for 10 minutes. I really, really enjoy it. And um, I feel like I'm doing something productive, but having a nice time as well. I thought it was half past two. It's half past four. I've been sat at my desk now since just after six. I haven't left my desk apart from to obviously take Poppy and to do the post. Oh, I've still got kit packing to do. And this video is supposed to be about creating a good work-life balance during a busy week. I think the balance side is very lopsided at the moment. It's not gone so well today. The time just flies by when I'm at my desk, but the thing is, I love it. I love it so much. I have been doing other things. I ordered a new white t-shirt actually. I want to create a new Disney t-shirt. I've got some really cool Disney fabric and I want to make like a pocket on the front. So I've done that. Um, what else have I done? I'm trying to find a few new businesses to collaborate with and that's time consuming, finding people, contacting people. So I've been doing other stuff too, but um, oh, and I finished editing that Disneyland Paris video as well, but I need to go into the lounge and start packing kits. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to start making dinner soon. I think Aid's going to finish work soon as well and give me a hand in the lounge. Right, it's 10 past five. I remembered I still need to do some more bits. I've got um, lunchtime craft session with my patrons tomorrow and I completely forgot to um, remind people about it. So I've just created the artwork that's being done and now I'm going to pack some kits and then make dinner. Quarter to seven, dinner is on. We've got quinoa under the grill. I've got seasoned salmon and some cherry tomatoes. And I've just got a tiny bit of spray oil with onions and garlic. And I'm going to use up these peppers from last week and spring onions as well. These will go with the quinoa. You need a decent amount of seasoning with the quinoa. So I've got onion salt, Italian herb, and some garlic granules, which I need to restock on next time and that's all gone in with the peppers onions and garlic so that's dinner tonight i'm going to squeeze over some lime juice over the leaves and the cucumber and then we'll add some salt as well and that has taken about 20 minutes to cook we've got a mix of rocket spinach and beetroot leaves i think they're possibly grilled cherry tomatoes, salmon, cucumber salad, and the mix of quinoa, garlic, onion, and peppers. And we are very, very excited to have this tonight. That was a very good dinner. We were just saying how having salmon is one of our favorite meals as it always feels really, really light. And I love how quickly it comes together as well. It's a really good start to the week. It's now eight o'clock and we're about to walk the dog. We were going to go on a proper long walk after work and it just hasn't happened tonight. We've both ended up working really late and we're going to walk Poppy. I'm going to come back and pack a few more kits and then we're going to stop for the evening. Um, this video was originally about balancing work and life and that hasn't really happened today so it's not been a great start to the week in that respect. I'm going to try and make a bit more of an effort tomorrow. Um, although I'm going to work in the lounge tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can get in the lounge earlier rather than work at my desk. Um, I do find sat working at a desk quite draining actually. But um, yeah, so it hasn't been great with that kind of thing. but. I'm pleased with my meal set up. I know that we'll be eating healthy all week, no matter how long, how many hours I work. I know that I've got healthy food. I've roasted off um, chickpeas yesterday as well, so they're snacks for tonight if I fancy a snack. Take two of a better work-life balance today. I have to say, um, I was going to finish the video last night and then I thought, no, I'm going to continue today. But last night we did end up going out for a mile walk, just around the streets. We took Poppy, our little dog, out for a little walk and we dropped her off home and went for a longer walk ourselves. I'm so glad we did that because I was going to get straight back into work. And that's not what I was wanting to do this week. I was really wanting to put into practice some better... Um, I was going to say skills. I think sometimes it is a skill actually being able to 
balance your work and life because to some of us it doesn't come naturally. Anyway, we went out for a walk and then I continued to work till half 10. This morning my workday started at 5.30, but I have done some housework. I've hoovered and done bits and pieces as well. It is now quarter past 12. I've been trying to pull myself away from my desk. I'm just getting some stuff ready because I'm doing one of my crafty Zooms with my Patreons in just over an hour. So I'm printing some stuff off because I like to actually film what I'm making so that I can use that as a um, YouTube video as well. So again, a bit of multitasking. So I'm going to be doing that, but I need to get back into kit packing. I also want to marinate some chicken for tonight. That meal last night was so good. I just love salmon. It's so easy to eat, really light. Um, but tonight I want to do something really light and fresh again. So we're going to have homemade chicken kebabs. I am hating my printer today. It's the second time it's done this. Oh, don't you just hate printers? Where's all that paper gone? It's actually chewed it all up completely. Found it. <laughs> there it is. Ugh. A bit of a soggy, inky mess. Today's lunch is homemade bread and butter. And I am shortly going to be kit packing. I've just got that many kits now left to do. I also find that depending on how I dress in the day, changes my mood on how I feel. Yesterday I put a really cute skirt on and um, I just felt really nice all day. I had cute little like house shoes on. I keep like, I've got some little Disney shoes that are really, really cute that I just keep for wearing inside. I don't wear them out. Today, however, I just really fancied a cozy day. So I've just gone with leggings and a t-shirt. I don't plan to go out and um, I just wanted to be really cozy. So I find that the way I dress has a big impact on my day too. Lunch is finished and I'm just marinating this chicken for tonight. I'm actually just using the yogurt pot. There was a little bit left, so I thought, well, rather than dirty up another dish. So I've added, what have I added to this? Cumin, coriander, no, cumin, turmeric. I've added some cinnamon and there was one more. What else did I add? Oh, some shawarma. Um, seasoning. I think that's how you say it. So I'm going to mix that up. I've also just uh, packed up the chicken breasts individually as well. So they're now in the freezer and I needed to go to the loo and it was my first time going in the downstairs toilet today. So I've given that a good wipe over as well. It's another way that I do my multitasking. If I, the first time I go into the bathroom that day, I give it a good wipe around so it's just a quick clean but it doesn't feel like an extra chore it just feels like i'm quickly wiping the bathroom around whereas if i were to like add it to a list or if i were to think oh i've got to go and clean the bathroom it then feels like a chore but for some reason this way it doesn't anyway i've got half an hour before my zoom call with my patreons so i'm going to see if i can pack a few kits in that time there we go and that just know it needs to be grilled tonight let's hope he doesn't think that's yogurt and has it for lunch because he'll be in for a nasty surprise so my zoom starts in 10 minutes i'm just setting up um i use this to film whilst i zoom i'll just show you i can stick my journal down there i've got white background and then i can chat and um record what i'm doing at the same time if you fancy crafting and zooming, um, I'll leave the link below. It also includes classes, downloads, there's an online community, loads and loads of bits and pieces. Zoom was lovely as always. I love those little chatty get togethers. And this is what I'm in the middle of making that I was, that I started in the Zoom. So I will finish that later. Aid's watching football tonight. So I'll come in here and carry on. I have just finished up. There was a little bit of white chili chicken leftover from the other day. I love leftovers for lunch. So I've just finished off that. Aid's nipped to Waitrose to go and get dog food and loo rolls. And I'm gonna carry on with kit packing. Something else I wanted to tell you about. I find it sometimes really hard to stay focused when I'm working and my mind wanders, especially when I'm doing mundane jobs. So when I'm kit packing, I always find something that I can watch on TV. I love Channel 5 dramas. They're on for about, I think this is now and 40 and it's just really really easy to watch so although i'm working i'm actually enjoying my time it helps me stay focused and it doesn't feel like quite a chore 
So I'm just going to carry on with this drama and then I think I'll make dinner when it's finished. About half past six and we've just fixed dinner together. I've just quickly made up some tzatziki with natural fat-free yoghurt and we've got spinach, leaves, rocket leaves, a bit like last night, tomatoes, cucumber, we've got two types of cabbage there with or with um, lime juice and salt, a couple of toasted pitters and the chicken is under the grill. There we go, another quick and healthy dinner. Bought. The next day it's Wednesday and um, I've been a bit kinder to myself today. I ended up working until 10.30 last night. I was really, really hurting. My shoulders, my back, my feet. I have, however, not got many kits left to pack. I am going to be finishing this video shortly, by the way. I think I've gone off, gone on enough today. But I wanted just to say that I didn't get up really, really early this morning. I did turn my alarm off. I stayed in bed a bit longer. AIDS given me a really good massage on my shoulders. I've got a hottie that I did have on there, actually, because they're really sore at the moment. He's rubbed my feet for me, ready for me to get back into work today. And I've taken a bit of a slower pace. I've had a coffee and I'm currently just watching a really relaxing video just while I get some admin done at my desk. It's Helen Colebrook. If you are into journaling, her videos are very, very relaxing. Um, so I'm just watching her doodle at the moment. It's really nice. And although I'm working, it's a slower pace of working. I don't have too much on my to-do list today. I don't want to feel overwhelmed. And something I was just thinking about, I've got a journaling video that I need to finish and I've still got a few more, more kits to pack. I've got all the address labels to do and I could still be stood at the table, the packing table all day. And I was thinking back to what somebody, it was I think Apple Cheeks in a YouTube video once said, and it's the opposite of what I usually do. She gets her creative jobs done in the morning when she's feeling more inspired and more creative. And you know, and I've said it before, but I don't always practice this. It's such a good idea because like now, I love my journaling, but I think although it's work, I still see it as my downtime, my treat. So quite often I just think, right, I'll get all the admin done or like now all my packing done and then I'll come and do my journaling jobs later. But quite often I don't feel like standing at the table. I don't particularly feel creative. I feel tired. And then those jobs don't always get done. So I'm actually wondering if I spin it around today, do my journaling jobs this morning, finish off the video that I started yesterday, and then go into the lounge and finish off kit packing. So I think I might spin it around and do it that because I am tired. I'm working really long hours at the moment. And um, I think I'm going to do that today. But I'm going to finish this video now. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me, trying the whole work-life balance. I did go out for a walk again last night. And I have to say, having a dog does get you out. Although A does 90% of the dog walks. Um, when we do go out, like I do tend to try and go out in the evening with him, even though if, even if it's just a short 20 minute walk, it's getting outside and getting some fresh air and for me taking a break from the house. But I know I've spoken about this before. How are you doing with your home life work balance? I know a lot more people now are going back out to work into offices and things. If that's you, how are you coping? Because obviously that's a big, big change for you right now. So leave a comment, say hello, let me know how you're doing. And I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me today. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in a couple of days. Bye.